This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to take you with me on this really quick but insanely beautiful sunset photo shoot I've recently done in Miami. Okay, so this entire shoot was actually done in less than 30 minutes. I am usually a fast shooter, but I do prefer to have about an hour to an hour and a half set aside for taking the photos. We were a bit delayed and we ended up just having around 25 minutes before the sunset and before I had to run to my next photo shoot. So it was really, really tight. Yeah, gorgeous. If there is one thing about me is I do thrive under pressure and I love a good challenge. So I got straight to work. As we were waiting for the yeah, sunset, I got my model to stand by these bushes as I really love the mix of the beach with the greenery and the palm trees in the background. After we got a few photos against the trees, I decided it would be nice to take some shots in the water as well. I always make sure to get a variety of close-up and further away shots, especially when I'm in a time crunch as it gives me more variety to work with afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get you into the sand, I think. Like, just laying down here okay. along the beach, kind of your legs this way and your head this way. Yeah, you don't have to go in super deep. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, beautiful. Whenever I shoot at the beach, I always look for interesting elements that will set it apart from other shoots that I've already done. I saw this really interesting tree trunk and I thought it would look really cool in the foreground of my images. Here again, I tried a few different angles around my model and I do find it super helpful when I have limited time as again, it just gives me multiple perspectives of what I would otherwise have cool. as a single Let's shot. Let's walk behind these little trees and like, let's sit up there for a second, sorry. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Are you looking to create a stunning website that showcases your brand and tells your story? Look no further than Squarespace. With their easy to use platform and beautiful templates, you can design a professional and modern website in a matter of hours. Squarespace is perfect for photographers, small business owners, and entrepreneurs. Don't let the lack of coding skills hold you back from creating a website that you'll be proud to show off. There are hundreds of fully customizable templates to choose so you can really make it your own. The platform is packed with features like e-commerce, SEO, and social media integrations, which is crucial when it comes to running your photography business. If you're like me and constantly on the phone or in meetings with clients, Squarespace offers you scheduling tools for your website as well. These tools allow you to create and manage appointments, bookings, and reservations through your Squarespace website. Your customers will be able to view your availability, schedule appointments, and pay for services directly at the site as well. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash Anita to receive 10% off your first purchase. Enjoy! Once we finished shooting by the trees, we had around 15 minutes left, so I decided to change the outfit to keep it a bit more interesting. My model brought a really nice dress that was like a beach cover-up, so she ended up wearing it with nothing underneath, which is my preferred way of doing things. You obviously always have to make sure that the model is comfortable, but if they are, it always looks better in my opinion. Beautiful. Let's get you out of the water a little bit. You can do the same pose, but just like be on your knees instead of standing, so I can just be closer here. Yeah. Actually, stay like this, yeah. Uh -huh. It was actually pretty rainy and overcast that day, but to be honest, I actually personally really love that mood, especially when having the contrast of light water against darker rain clouds. It gives it a really tropical feel in my opinion. I usually avoid shooting into the open ocean like this, as it can be pretty boring. However, we ended up taking a bunch of photos in that direction as the clouds made the image look so much more interesting and minimalist at the same time. Uh, have this one bent as well, this hand, yeah. The other bent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that. So pretty. And this leg that's on top, can you just put it on top of the other one? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like that. And your head tilted down a little bit. Yes, perfect. With only five minutes on the clock and the panning creeping in, we run into the beach to take some photos on the, of my model in the sand. As you guys probably know by now, I do love my color matching and the dress matched the sand perfectly and my model's darker skin looked really, really good against the sun as well. The light was getting very soft and golden and these images are actually some of my favorite that I took on that photo shoot.
So these final few shots were actually not meant to happen as we were so close to be out of time and I really had to run. But once I saw the sky turn into the most beautiful painterly shades of pink and purple, I knew I had to take some more photos. The reality is sometimes you might have the most time in the world and you will only get the shots you want within the last few minutes of the day. This is the part of the charm of being an outdoor photographer. You never know what nature is going to serve you and you just have to go with the flow even if it means running a tiny bit behind. I'm so glad that I stayed behind for these photos as they are hands down some of my favorite shots I've recently captured. Being under a time crunch can be super stressful but sometimes you just have to learn to go with the flow and let go of the expectations of what the shoot is supposed to be. So you can actually create something that might be different but so much better in the end. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my panic mode photo shoot. Let me know what you think about the photos and which ones are your favorite and I'll see you guys in the next one.